let's start our new section implementing microservices before we start it let's have a recap of last section last section we learn about the domain driven design its building blocks strategic design and principles and development of entities services and repositories in this section we'll cover the otrs overview which is our sample product then we'll implement the otrs microservices using a spring cloud a spring cloud provides cloud ready solution it uses spring boot and netflix oss netflix oss services we can use uh, through spring cloud like eureka high stakes etc and at the end we'll test our services otrs overview online table reservation system where a user can book the restaurant using these three services based on microservice principle we need to have separate microservices for each functionality that can function independently after looking at the otrs we can easily divide the otrs into three main microservices restaurant service user service and booking services there can be other microservices that can be defined in otrs our focus is on these three microservices the idea is to make them independent including having their own separate databases we can summarize the functionality of each of these three microservices like restaurant service provides the functionality for the restaurant resource where crud operations can perform you can search based on the criteria it provides the association between restaurants and tables restaurant would also provide the access to table entity next one is user service as name suggests allows the end user to perform crud operation on user entities and the third one is booking service this makes use of restaurant service and user service to perform crud operations on booking it would use the restaurant searching it associate table lookup and allocation based on the table availability for a specified time duration it creates a relationship between restaurant table and user so it will look like this as you can see on top of that we will have service registration and discovery so this is where we'll use the netflix oss and eureka product this diagram shows each microservice works independently this is the reason microservices can be developed and hence and maintained separately without affecting others these services they can have their own layer architecture and database there is no restriction to use same technologies framework and language to develop these services at any given point of time you can also introduce new microservice for example for accounting purpose we can introduce an accounting service that can be exposed to restaurant for bookkeeping similarly analytics and reporting are other services that can be integrated and exposed for demonstration purpose will only implement these three microservices api versioning so before we move ahead it is important to understand api versioning versioning api is important because apis change over time your knowledge and experience improves with time which leads to changes in your api a change of api may break existing client integration therefore we need to have api versioning there are various ways to of managing apis versions one of them are having the version in endpoint path and this is the one we are going to use so as you can see restaurants resource is prefix with v1 the other method is versions as http header 
the HTTP header can be custom request header or accept header to represent the calling API version. You can refer the RESTful Java patterns and best practices by Bhakti Mehta for more information about APIs and their related concepts.